Hello! This is Nexus from Viverniax and you are watching our latest ARC video. This time we will be obtaining the Enforcer. It is one of the new creatures added with the Extinction map. It is commonly found in the Sanctuary, but unlike other creatures, it can be actually tamed. So to get it, you will first have to find one of them, roaming the city. We have two here, one is level 35 and the other one is 150. And it has to be killed. Once destroyed it will drop a blueprint, which can then be used to craft one. Keep in mind that the level of Enforcer will determine the quality of the blueprint. Up to the Ascendant, we've got the Apprentice from level 35 and Ascendant from 150. You can also see that the higher the quality, more resources are necessary. So we now know that the Enforcer has to be crafted. You have to use the CD terminal. These can be found all over the city. We do have one inside our base. When you open it, you can see that you can also craft a generic one without the blueprints, but the uh, quality will be much worse than from one that you have uh, destroyed. We will be crafting the Ascendant Enforcer. All the materials required are already there, so we will start by pressing E. The blueprint is consumed in the process, so it can be crafted again. Once finished, you can deploy it with E, which can be considered taming it. Instead of food, it used the element dust as a sustenance, and you can ride it without saddle. The Enforcer has a good carry capacity. They are quite resilient to damage from corrupted creatures and also do quadruple damage to them, so they can be very helpful during defense of the orbital supply drops. Another ability that he has is the uh, knockback that can uh, throw the smaller dinos away. It doesn't work with the uh, larger dinos and there is a cooldown on it. They are very agile and can be also used to harvest structures in the city, including the lamppost, the benches and other to get the element dust, electronics, scrub metal and crystals. Also oil from the other enforcers. They have the awesome warping ability and you can walk on walls like with the Megalania or Rock Drake. To uh, use the warping or teleporting ability, you have to press the right mouse button and hold it in order to teleport. You can see that it uh, consumes one of the five charges that you have. With mouse you can also uh, aim at the surface that you want to teleport to, so that's quite handy. The range is uh, quite uh, short. But still it can help you get to the otherwise unreachable places. To use the wall walking ability you have to go to the wall, press and hold the jump button. It's the uh, space. After that he will be able to climb over the walls. You can also combine these two abilities by pressing and holding the space while jumping and you can use the teleport with that. The number of charges depends on the level. You need to reach the level 175 to have the maximum 5 charges. All in all, this is a really awesome creature to get. And that's all. Hope you've enjoyed this taming slash crafting video, feel free to leave a comment or a like. Also click on the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on more Arc Survival Evolved fun. Thank you for watching and see you next time.